All right, welcome back, and I'm dedicating this week just for Mega Man games. Because it's coming up on my one year anniversary soon, so I think um, for the next few weeks, I'm going to do something special every week. All right, Mega Man, oh, 1987. I love the blue bomber. I don't know if anybody can tell from uh, what I'm wearing right now, a Mega Man t-shirt. And it's a good one, too. Is he half robot, half Mega Man thing? And this awesome beanie I picked up from Amazon a while back. Let's see. Ooh. I remember this. Sweet. You know, I've been thinking about a lot of um, what are, uh, the stories I want to tell on here, right? Crap. Ah! Great. I'm not gonna make it. So I've been thinking about like um, a lot of work related injuries and things and one of the ones that I remember right is my um, when I was working at Lowe's Home Improvement you know, though, back in my early 20s and, and at Lowe's you get to drive like um, these awesome you know equipments to help you get you know stuff on the top shelf or you know to put things away oh shoot I gotta bust my butt out of here. Oh man, I'm not gonna make it. Well, I might die. This, I remember this one is a hard game and you have the points. And anyway, I was just driving this machine called the Signwinder, right? And I need to put a lot of stuff in the top right. And on this one particular incident, you know, you know, I was backing up against the, I guess the other uprights, you know, the shelf again across. And uh, while I was backing up in this particular time, oh shoot! Uh, I guess my butt was sticking out a little bit. Okay. And while I was backing up to make sure I, I get all the stuff uh, appropriately, oh no! Oh, huh. okay. I just so happened to have my butt stick out way too much, and I pinched it between the machine. In my buttocks. Now, when that happened, it hurt a great deal. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually um, fainted, and uh, I broke my, I broke the skin of my buttocks in two places. Oh no! Man, I was way too into the story. Crap! Man, I'm gonna die. No! So what happened when I came to, right, I had to, you know, tell one of the uh, managers on, on duty, you know, they call it MOD. They're like, hey, this thing happened and I, I, I you know, my cheeks are bleeding, all right? And I'm going to need to see a doctor. And I, I will never forget his face. He tells me like, well, um, Lamb, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to need you to do a drug test. I'm like, yeah, no problem. I guess apparently everybody thinks I, you know, I smoke stuff. Which is not the case. Well, not at that time anyway. Damn. Ah. Oh. So. So I went to the doctor. Everything is fine, you know. I didn't. I didn't have too bad of an injury. I just broke the skin in my butt in two places. Crap! I'm just gonna die just trying to pass this part. How do you get past this without getting hit? Hi, jumping. It's actually something very embarrassed that only a few people would know, so now I have it on the internet. And sometimes I like to make excuses because, you know, oh, what? You know, I like to blame the shelf was, you know, they had this thing that at an angle was sticking out a little bit too much. Crap, I just shot it. Oh, crap. I need to do this timing thing. Oh no! 
How do I pick another stage? Oh, I know. Nope. I'm gonna get out of the menu. Crap. Dude, I'm gonna die. Oh, I love these Mega Man games. Why does this one so hard? Oh! Great. How, how do I get out of the menu? I forgot now. Oh, you know what? I need to do, um... I don't have enough buttons. I think it's LR select start for the uh, NES Classic. What? But, you know, there you go. That's my butt-cracking story for the day. I might not even tell it well. Great. You know, this is a really great game and I'm ruining it. Look at how difficult this was. Yes! I still remember the, uh, the manager's name, by the way. That was on duty. His name was Torn. You know, basically, when I got back, right, when I got better, better, a lot of people were making fun of me, obviously. Like, you know, here's, here's a guy that pinches ass driving one of the machines just trying to do his job. And I, I still remember one of the incidents, right? Like, oh, one of the... Um, this guy was telling the story where I was helping um, load um, someone's, you know, whatever they bought into their truck or car, right? Another associate actually told the person, like, oh, this guy is, you know, he's getting back on a horse because he's got his butt pinched by the machine the other day. And if anybody is uh, wondering, that machine is called the Signwinder. I mean, they, they, that name probably varies, you know, depends on which uh, store you go to. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna get past this part. You know what? I'm gonna give it another minute to try. Oh, shoot. But you know what? As soon as I was, I didn't have any fear of, you know, getting back on the machine anyway. I got right back on it and did my job, you know, you know. I'm one of those guys that, you know, I get right back on the horse. Here we go. See, I got it. I got it. It took me a long time, but you know. Alright, I don't want to fall here. Oh, okay, it's not bad. Sweet! I can't even get your robot master. Because I take so damn long just trying to get past that part. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.